Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria and I hope you're all doing great. So I have a small Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. As usual, here is an overview of the things that I picked up. I will go through them one by one so that you can have a better look. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so for this Dollar Tree trip, I did notice something different at my Dollar Tree and I would love to know if the same thing has happened at yours. So I went into Dollar Tree yesterday and I saw this. So there actually are some items in the Dollar Tree that are now a dollar fifty so if you're new to my channel I am from Canada so all of the items at Dollar Tree are a dollar twenty five well now as I said some of the items are a dollar fifty so it looks like there is a rise in things happening with some of the prices and I still think they are a great deal, but I wonder if a lot of the other items slowly will be going to $1.50 as well. Now, at the beginning of the video, I took pictures of some of the things that I did see. There were a few items that I now wish that I had picked up, one in particular. So I was in the um, plates and Tupperware kind of aisle and I came across an item that this one I really wish that I had picked up so hopefully when I go back they still will have more I think they will but um, I really thought it was a great item so these were I say Tupperware but um, just containers for um, freezing or storing these ones here also you could put in the dishwasher they were BPA free you could put them in the microwave and I love the colors that they came out with um, of course they were spring colors there were three there was a blue a minty green and then a peachy color and I didn't pick them up as I said but I really wish I had now there were three different sizes so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the picture here you will have seen it at the beginning of this video but I'll just insert the picture here again And then while I was in that aisle, I came across these stainless steel drinking straws, which I love these and I normally pick these up at my local dollar store here in town, Dollar Haven. And I think for $1.25, this is a really great deal. They were a pretty good deal there as well, but I think it worked out better at Dollar Tree. So you get four stainless steel straws and the cleaning brush. So two of the straws are straight and then two of them are slanted on an angle. They are eco-friendly and reusable. So I was really happy to come across these. I actually needed more and I didn't think that they would have them there, but this was definitely a nice find for me. I picked up a couple more books. This one here is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. My daughter likes them as well, so I thought this one was really nice. And it has a sparkling glitter um, poster in the back. So I'll open it up and show you the poster. So it's a nice size poster. And then the illustrations in the book are really nice as well. So I thought she'd enjoy reading that. And then I came across the second Toy Story. I did pick up the first one when it came out um, and she really, really liked the comic book or comic story. So they had the other one, which is the Toy Story Water Rescue. So I picked up this one for her as well. I just love the pictures. They're very colorful. 
really nice. So I was happy to come across that one as well. Then in the aisle over, I was in the decor section, which I'm surprised there, there was not too many new things. Actually, I don't think I, well, this was new, but I did pick up this frame before only in the white ship lap with the black frame. And that one was my favorite. Again, I did take a picture of the three other ones that I did see today, but I only picked up this one, which is the black ship lap which I think it would have been really nice if in between the faux ship lap they had the white stripes because then it would have stood out more. But this particular frame, which is a four by six, says enjoy the little things. So I just picked up the one, but again, I, I have the pictures at the beginning of the video and I'll just go ahead and insert it here again. Okay, so next up I went over into the garden area and they had some items grouped together that I probably wouldn't have seen, especially this sign hadn't I gone over there. And it was more on an end cap, so I it was really, really hidden. It was at the very bottom, so I'm really thankful that I took another turn around to that area and then looked again because as I said I would have missed this sign and how wonderful is this sign so it has like the faux wood in the back and then it has the sunflowers I'm not a huge fan of the sunflowers but I really like this sign I think it looks really pretty and then it has this like foam letter or foam word that says welcome and it has a little bit of glitter on there and of course the red truck with the sunflowers in the back how beautiful is that and it says welcome summer with a little bit more glitter there but this is just um, painted on and then they added the glitter to it so again, I'm really, really happy. There were only three of these left, so I picked up all three. But I just think this one is really, really pretty. I then came across the garden flags, and I only found one of this one, which is my favorite. So here you can see the picture. It says, Our Farmhouse, which I absolutely love. So I will be looking out for a few more of those. And then I picked up this one, which I really liked as well because it has the lemons on it and it's the blue and white buffalo check. So I thought this one was really, really pretty. And it says, home sweet home. I finally came across some lemons. These always tend to sell out quickly when summer comes and at my Dollar Tree I've only ever saw this lemon sold single. Now they have the three count. These lemons are just a tad bit smaller than the ones that were single but not all that much and you get three. So that's awesome that um, I was able to find these and this year I also saw the limes as well. So that was really pretty. I didn't pick those up, but I really wish that I had. And that was another item that I probably will pick up when I go back again. And then I came across these planters. Is that what they're calling them? Doesn't really say, yes, planters. And these are probably one of my favorite planters at Dollar Tree they are so pretty they did come in different colors again if you see at the beginning of the video there are some pictures and i only picked up the white and the black whatever i could find these are just so pretty four planters 
for whatever else you want to use it for. These be great to use in a DIY, at a coffee station. Um, you really could use them for so many things. So here's the white one. It has the beautiful trim at the top and then it's solid on the bottom, which I love. I think they're so pretty. Now the reason I picked these up is because um, I do have, if you don't know, I have another channel. It's called Country Cuddlebugs Nursery. And on there, it is a reborn channel. So I do have kits that I will be painting. And this is a smaller kit. And I wanted to find something really pretty to put my smaller kits in once they are painted. So this, I think, is perfect for this size of a baby. I mean, he just fits in there. But I love it because it's raised. So I just thought this would make the perfect little piece to place the baby in once it is done. So I was really happy. I hope I do find some more, but I actually think when I go back, hopefully if they're still there, I will pick up the pink and blue ones because I think that would be really pretty as well um, to have them in either a pink or blue little basket or bassinet. And the last items that I have to show you are seasonal. So these are for spring and Easter. And I really haven't seen a whole bunch of Easter or spring related items yet. I mean the spring related items in the garden center, there are some newer things coming out there. Um, but at the one Dollar Tree, because I've only been able to get to the one, now I'm hoping very soon that I will go to another Dollar Tree. It's in another city and it is by far the best Dollar Tree that I've ever been to. It is huge and I find that the one time that I went there, there were a lot of items that I seen hauled in the US so I am looking forward to going back to that Dollar Tree and when I do we'll see I may even film when I'm in there so that you can see how big it is um, it doesn't have any grocery items as I've seen some in the US do have but it has so much crafting for the things that I did see I came across this styrofoam craft bunny there was only three, so I picked up the three. I don't know what I'm going to be using this stuff for and if I even get around to it. I'm hoping to, but I don't like to promise and then not get around to it. But I just thought that was really nice. I picked up this um, egg container. So it's of a bunny. So it has the two pieces that when put together they form one bunny that stands. I picked up the color your own ornament. Oh, it's also open so I hope nothing fell out. But it is eight piece so they are the wooden bunnies. They also had carrots and I believe I believe the third one was eggs but again I did take pictures of those and then I picked up this bunny because he's really really cute and it is a wooden bunny and then I found these two box decor pieces which this one says this chick or this chick's ready for Easter and then the other one I found says follow the bunny he has the chocolate pretty cute and guys that will do it for this Dollar Tree haul I hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up share the video if you can it greatly helps my channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would absolutely love and appreciate it if you did as always, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye for now.